Proof that love doesn't exist. Millions and millions of years ago, back in the primitive times, when a man saw a female he was attracted to, he felt this warm, tingly feeling in his chest. He had no idea what this feeling was. He had theories on it, and he tried to guess what it was, but he truly had no idea what this phenomenon really was. It later became known as the love feeling, but in reality, it was just his heart beating faster, sending blood flow to his genital area, which in turn made him hard. If you look at the entire timeline of human history, quote-unquote love is a relatively new thing. It only came about when humans were fully able to effectively communicate with each other, through things like literature and language, even through symbols and drawings. Here's the universal symbol for love. I think we're all familiar with the heart symbol. We see these things everywhere, especially during Valentine's Day. Ever wonder how our ancestors actually came up with the heart symbol to mean love? Boom! Check out this picture right here. I think this picture tells us everything we need to know about quote-unquote love, right? When a couple claims themselves as in love, or that they love each other, it's basically code for, we are currently freaking each other. But that phrase leaves a woman feeling dirty, like she's being used for a cheap piece of butt. Instead, she makes the man give up some of his resources to her. They display this artificial infatuation to the public. They have roses and flowers everywhere and hearts, and they leave all these stupid tweets. And they freak behind closed doors. And they simply tell the entire world that they love each other. But that code word of love really means that they're banging each other. And that's all it is. Love is just a thing mostly females came up with thousands and thousands of years ago. It was made up to keep men around to protect them and to protect their kids. And also to keep men supporting the two for a lifetime. It's a totally made up construct, sort of like Valentine's Day. It's all made up to make you fall for their little trap, to keep you a slave forever. What quote unquote love is, is the need and desire to have children, and it's nothing more than that. It's our primal instinct to go around and knock up every chick we lay eyes on. This is why most relationships don't go past five years. And once we fill that need of having children, there's really nothing left to do in a relationship after that. But we're kind of forced to stay with our mate for another 30 years because that's what society forces us to do. I mean, like, look at other animals on our planet. The females just choose the biggest male of the bunch to mate with, or the one that has the highest brain capacity, or the one that does the best mating call. And then the two mate, and then the two's relationship is done after that. That's it. No buying a home together, no love letters, no wedding, no poems, no 30 year anniversary or anything like that. The male does his thing, and then he's on to the next female to freaking knock up after that. Most other animals on our planet have like a zero chance of survival, so there's no time for love. They gotta go around knocking each other up all the time and mate 24-7 because that's how they survive. In fact, most other animals will abandon their offspring. Even their very own mother who birthed them will leave the babies to fend for themselves out in the wild. Some mammals even go as far as eating their own offspring because even their own children are seen as threats to the survival of the parents. I mean, there's no love right there, right? Because human survival is pretty much guaranteed this day and age, we need quote-unquote love in our lives to keep us entertained. Since we really don't have to worry about food and shelter this day and age, I mean, you can pretty much not work and be disabled, and you're still gonna get hooked up with food and shelter. We can thank the government for that. Love is the up and down emotional roller coaster we ride to keep us from getting bored and ultimately not going crazy. You see, our brains need chaos in our lives to keep us sane because we're so used to it for millions of years of evolution. But now that we have it so easy, we need something to fill that void. It's kind of insane the way that works. Love is our everyday chaos that keeps us from going crazy. Love is just a made-up idea. Humans live way too long this day and age because life is very easy. Medicine and health advancements pretty much have us living forever. There's plenty of food to go around, and no other creature on this planet eats humans as food. So to keep men from going to chick to chick and just knocking up every female they lay eyes on, we are tied down by this artificial construct called love. And love 
also pays our mates' bills for a lifetime pretty well too, right? A lot of people also can't define what love is, and it's basically just a word, or an illusion at best. Illusions are, by definition, mismatches between physical reality and perception. Love, as with all emotions, has no external or physical reality. It may be driven by neutral events, but is nonetheless purely a subjective experience. That's why when somebody asks another person, what is love? Their response is something like, baby don't hurt me. It's a funny and playful way to change the subject about it, because the truth is, nobody knows what the heck love truly is, right? I mean, like, look at our other human needs. We need to eat, we need to poop, drink water, sleep, daily. We were also supposed to mate daily, or at least every three days. You know, just look at our semen production. That's a dead giveaway right there. This is why we got a sex drive, and love keeps men to having three kids in his lifetime rather than 300 or 3,000 kids in a lifetime, like every other male organism on our planet. But yeah, just remember this picture right here. You think the heart symbol and this was a coincidence? I don't think so. You can clearly see the resemblance. So if you're ever in doubt about what love really is, just remember, it's this right here. Love is the desire to have children. Love is the desire to mate. And that's all it is. It's not this Valentine's Day BS that we were brought up with. Love is just simply that feeling in your heart that's pumping more blood to your penis to give you an erection so you can mate. And that's what that feeling is in your heart. It's not a love feeling. It's just all been a big trick and you fell for it. So, ha, huh, there you have it, folks. Go MGTOW!